let me show you how to make better product photos using Kittle's AI product backgrounds feature. It'll take your initial mock-up and change the environment in the background so that it feels like a completely new photo. So let's learn how to use it right now. All right, we have a labeled template here and I'm gonna click mock-up in the top right, which is gonna bring us to the mock-up generator. And then I'm gonna scroll down to packaging. I'm just showing you quickly how I would make a product in Kittle having already designed the label here. I like this bottle right here. I think it could look really cool for this tequila brand. Once I'm happy, I can either upload it or download the mock-up. I'm going to go ahead and download it because now we're going to look at how the product generator works. So if I click on the Kittle logo and I go up here to AI tools and I click AI background, AI product backgrounds, it's going to take me to this page where I can hit try now. And now I can see the area where I can drag in my image right here and it's going to provide me with different background options. So I drag it in. There it is. It's going to think about it for just a little bit and it's going to take away this background. So boom, it perfectly removed the background. So now I can select a variety of different background options like warm studio or abstract or moss or florals or whatever I want. And it's going to go ahead and actually generate a couple for me that I can see as examples. So let's go up here and let's select one. I'm going to go ahead and click warm studio right here. Then all I have to do is click generate background. It's going to think about it and then it's going to shoot me down to the bottom. You can see the ones that already generated and there is one right there. It looks like it's kind of sitting on a flat uh, you know carpet there's also this one on a table which I really like you can see there it's a nice high resolution image now we can also select a custom AI written prompt so right now I'm gonna go ahead and click and type in product sitting in uh, sand or on a sandy beach uh, because I think this uh, tequila could be cool in that kind of environment it's kind of more of a rustic kind of you know, grungy style. So product sitting on a sandy beach. Let's see what there. Okay, so there it is. It's giving me kind of a drop shadow on the bottle sitting on some sand. Let's try a couple of other ones. Let's go up here and we'll do product sitting uh, in sand on a beach. I'm just trying a couple different keywords. You can always play around with it, see what you get. Okay, so that looks like the sand is a little bit wet. Uh, let's try a different one. Now I'm thinking of a desert scene. Again, tequila, kind of the you have the western kind of horse vibes there on the label so i think that could be cool all right that's cool because there's a bunch of cactuses there so now back in kittle what i'm going to do is actually show you how i would make an ad with one of these just very quickly so here is our ai product generated background that we got from the mock-up in kittle and so you can see how easy it is to use all of the other assets fonts things you have in kittle to generate an ad like this so i'm just putting some text here on the right maybe this is a social ad for i don't know maybe for facebook or just somewhere else online that someone would be uh, viewing something else and learning about alcohol and maybe there is this brand that they come across and they can click shop online to see where to buy it and you can easily replicate this with all of the other generated images that we made back in the product generator. So you could go with endless ideas for your Shopify site or your print on demand or Etsy shop or anything else. Now, if you wanna see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.